Hey, everybody. I always feel like the Wizard of Oz um, clicking all my little clicks behind the scenes. I hope you guys are doing good today. Let me look in the comments and see who's here. Oh, everybody. They're all checking in. Hi, Jen, Charlotta, Elaine, Laura, Allison, April, Brenda. Two Brendas. All right. Is that the same, Laura? I can't even remember. Yes. Leslie, Angel. Lisa, good to see you. Hey, Joyce, hope you're feeling good. Good to see everybody. Hi, Judy. You're expecting your nurse, but she is late. That's good. Hi, Glum and Jillian. Joellen, uh-oh, I'm losing track here. All right, Lynn. Tootsie Bell, hi. Hi from Arizona. Hi, Sharon. All right, well, good to see you guys. There's a lot going on today. I've been on the phone all day. I was talking with Alexis, who is um, the creative, not sure what her title is, but she is working on my trip out to California, which I am leaving for on the 12th, no, 13th of June. So I'm trying to get all my stuff ready. Um, I have to get my nails done. It's pretty exciting. So I'm going to be there um, pretty much four days. So I have some meetings and some other stuff that we're doing there. We're making plans. So it's very exciting. I haven't been out there in Sizzix for, uh, I don't know, five years, a long time. So anyway, it was good to talk to Alexis and go over the plans and, um, so I was on the phone for a couple hours with her. Um, a couple other things. <laughs> glum, heart box. Gotcha, glum. That was a good one. Hi, Diane, Isabel, Tiffany, how are you? Good to see you. There's Linda. She made it. Um, so the other thing that's happening is, and let me put this up. Oh, did I put it on the screen? Wait a minute. Let me see if I can find it because... Um, we have, uh, let's see, where is that? We have an event coming up. And if you live like down near Leslie, you might want to come. Even if you don't live near Leslie, it's going to be fun. All right. It's loading up here. Okay. There is going to be the Craft Acropolis and that's October 24th to the 27th. My birthday is the 25th, so I'll be there for that. And we are going to have so much fun. We're going to go to May May's place. Um, it's actually, I think, the convention center. So if you want more information, I can post the link later. Uh, but it's like you go to May May's page and go to events, and that will bring you to that. It was going live right at 3 o'clock Central, which is 4 o'clock my time. So I couldn't get the link yet. Um, it wasn't up yet. So anyway, if you're interested in an in-person event, that would be a fun one to go to. And I think that they're going to go pretty quick. It sounds like they always do. Um, May May does a really good job on her events from what I hear. And um, hopefully, because I'm going to be part of it, I better do good. <laughs> better up my game after craft roulette. Anyway, <laughs> um, that's happening in October. So I'm making plans, guys. I'm going to be all over the place. And that thing that I talked about the other day might work out. So I'll let you know about that. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, I want to say congrats to Susie Benz because she did the 100 day challenge and she did 100 days. Can did you know how hard that is to do anything for 100 days? Um, so go over to her Instagram feed and you can see like them all tiled out and she used the library pocket and ATC card as a base for all of her artist trading card, um, posts that she did. And I saw her yesterday and she said, she's going to start this ICAD, which is index card a day, uh, like today. So I say, good on her because I don't think I could do it. But anyway, um, so another thing that's happening is I want to show you this digi kit. It is not loaded yet because I am trying to shrink it down to get it big, small enough to fit in Etsy. 
and I'm having some trouble doing that. So I may have to do them as separate pages. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I just wanted to show you anyway, because we're doing the card caddy book and the leather and all that stuff. I just wanted to show you how it works today. And then when it comes live, then you'll know how to do it. Okay. So uh, what else? Let me see. I forgot to look at what you're saying. Yeah, Susie's ATCs were amazing. Hi, Lenin. Yeah, she did a great, great job. Oh, thanks, Leslie, for the event. Yes, they should let me save sizes. I didn't pay for that Adobe Glum. So hi, Marion. I do have Adobe, though. Hey, Belinda. Yes, Susie is amazing. Yeah, I know, Charlotta. We still need to get an international event. Diane, my mom is doing good. I talked to her yesterday. Um, sometimes I call her, and if they're out in the garden, my sister is a big gardener, so she will be out there helping Kathy, and I don't get to talk to her some days because she's too busy. <laughs> so that's a good thing. She has been working on many, many puzzles, and we're trying to keep her in puzzles. So if anybody knows of a good place that sells either 100 or 300 piece puzzles, that's the max. Um, she's just burning through them. So I did find some over at Joanne Fabrics. Um, and I, but I don't know where else to go. So if you have ideas for that, please let me know in the comments. Yeah, she's really doing good. She's getting outside. You know, she still has good days and bad days, but a lot of good days and she's busy. I think that's what it is. It's important to, um, you know, keep active and do things. Um, yes, I can change the format to PDF, but it's still very big. So thank you. I know I have to do a tutorial. <laughs> that's the thing. Check out thrift stores. I have been doing that, but Joyce, sometimes the pieces are not all in there, you know, which is really annoying. Because I, when I was up there, we started doing a puzzle and we could not find one of the edge pieces. And it turned out I left it in the bag and I had to go in the garbage and get the piece left. Thankfully, we found it. But um, Dollar Tree, those are kind of cheesy, Michelle. Sometimes she wants substantial, you know, ones that she can feel click in because sometimes Amazon, I should just look on there. Yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, at Dollar Tree. All right. Maybe I do need to try one. I got some kids ones and I, I, I don't know. I wasn't impressed, but kids, you know, they rip off those little things. So who knows? Yes, it is very frustrating, but she is going to town. The thing is my sister's table has a stack of puzzles and, you know, mom doesn't want to take them apart. It's like, you know, we could recycle them after a month. You could go back and do them again. Buffalogames.com. Okay. So antique stores. Hmm. All right. I'll just, oh, five below. Okay. I'll try that. Yeah. Yeah. Because they get expensive. They were $10 at uh, Joanne's. I had a coupon, but anyway, yeah, the bookstores too. Okay. I have to try that. I got her a couple for Mother's Day, but um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for all those tips. Okay. Made madcap games have great puzzles. Okay. I will look. Thanks, guys, because I think I need to ship them right up there. <laughs> Not sure when I'm going back again. So uh, anyway, we do have stuff to do today. Oh, I also wanted to show you these. They grew right outside of my front door, and I was kept looking at them when I came and went, and I thought, I should just cut them and look at them all day. Aren't they amazing? I love them. They smell good, too. So I wanted you to... Uh, be able to share them. Okay, so I think the rest of the stuff I want to show you when I turn the camera down. So, <laughs> all right, I'm going to try this again, guys. Please, dear Lord, I'd actually practice this. Let me put May May up again. Oh, no, wait, let me put this one because it covers the whole thing. All right, now let's see. Uh, all right. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if I can do this. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to. Oh, I did practice. I promise. 
All right, this is just going to have to come out in front of my face and then I switch it down, but I, I am getting quicker. Look at that. How is that, guys? All right. So I did want to show the napkins because last time I told you about them and they're all listed in the shop, but I didn't show you what they look like. So I just thought I would go through very quickly. There are, I think, six of this size. I love them. That pattern is so pretty. And you get a butterfly in there, too. And then this is a nice all over. Did I do this? I can't remember. Anyway, you'll let me know. That one I like because of the edge. I just think that's kind of watercolory. It's pretty. Okay. And I have this one. Oh, Teresita's at Capri Store. They finally got one of my dies. Thanks, Teresita. That's good news. <laughs> I love that one. That's the one that we use. And look at those little speckles in there. Isn't that pretty? I'm glad the camera is not being wacky today. Did you make the yellow and blue dressers behind me? No, I got them in antique stores. I think I have these sideways. Isn't that one pretty too, though? And then this one was nice and bright. It looks kind of, um, I thought of Charlotta, actually. It looks kind of um, Scandinavian. And then we have these, which are huge. These are so big. So you can get a lot of designs out of these. And if you look at any of the videos, you'll see how we tear these, or we don't tear them. We peel back the two, one or two layers of what's underneath, and we just use the uh, one piece that's um, left that has the design on it. But that's a lot of area. So I think all of these have, have the design there might be one that's not, and that was annoying, but that's kind of dramatic, and I think that would be pretty. You could go around it and get that design, but I think an overall print would be pretty. This one I love because it has all of my favorite colors, and it's just kind of, um, I don't know, vintage-y looking. Hey, Darlene. That's a pretty one, too, for all of you purple lovers, and it also has this pretty little scalloped edge here. So you can use them for a lot of different things. I don't know if I showed you, but I did cans. I'll have to show you next time. Um, your watercolor page of the tulips. Oh, thank you. Oh, you know, I do have some to show you. All right. This is the one that I used on my journal. And this one is the only one that doesn't go all through. But this is pretty by itself. And that would be a really nice the journal size, you know, the um, traveler's notebook size. Yeah. Uh, this one is really pretty. Let me see how that one. Yeah, this goes through. So look at, you would get all those butterflies. And these are so cheap when you look at the alternative, you know, if you were buying paper, you know, you'd never get all those. This is a pretty one. And also some butterflies. And that's nice too. That's, this watercolor thing is really getting on my nerves, <laughs> not on my nerves, but I'm really loving it. I just love that soft look to it. And that one's pretty too, kind of scriggle, scribble watercolor. So that is the set. It's in the Etsy store. I had to raise the price a little, sadly, because the napkins have gone up. Like, I think it's the supply chain thing. So there were a couple packs that were on sale. I think they were from last time, last year. But the new ones are just a lot more money. So I had to raise that. So I hope it's only a little bit more for you guys. And you get 16 patterns. And, um, you know, anyway, I think it's a good deal. So there they are. Okay. Um, these are my latest watercolors. And I think I did them yesterday. It's like I feel like I need to get the perfect rose, which is probably never going to happen. This one's not done, but I'm getting there. And this one I thought was pretty good. Um, so I'm, you know, some days are good and some days are bad, but I'm going to keep trying. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I found, well, it, I didn't find it. It came from the UK. I got my packaging back. So I just thought you might want to see, you know what, this is crooked. You might want to see the actual packaging. You may not care, but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, this is the card that 
Oh, I didn't know I did inside. Dream a little. That's a good saying. So this is the Thinlets die called um, Mini Slimline and Tickets. We have lots of samples in the fan club. If you haven't joined the fan club, go ahead and join it. Make sure you answer the questions. And that's where we have all our discussions and we have a lot of um, ideas for ways to use these. That's a really great one. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Well, thank you, Belinda. You know, you never think that you're good, but I mean, even if I'm not good, I like it. And that's to me, what is more important? I mean, I just like to do it. And so if you guys like it, yeah, I would put them up there in the Etsy. Um, yes, lots of inspiration is right. Okay, now this one is the journaling card envelope and window. I have all these in my Etsy store if anybody doesn't have them, but this will hold a journaling card which comes with the set. And, you know, we've already gone through what's in here and the tab and all that, but that's the packaging. So there it is. Oh, this was the card that was inside. Maybe it was that way. Yeah, it was. Look at that. So nice to have them back. Um, this is the card case, and this is the one that we've been working with. And here's my project. And it has all of the little compartments. Mabel was my grandmother. I always thought her name was spelled M-A-B-E-L, but I looked in her little address book and she had spelled it. And it's I think it's even prettier, M-A-Y-B-E-L. So, whoops, I made a little book. Tuck that under here. This is a little pocket. It's got some little cards in here. And I don't know. I just wanted to fill it up. Those are some smushed watercolory background things that I did. And that's the little pocket that comes in the on the die. Uh, yes, that one comes with it. Here's another pocket. And this one is like a little book. And I used our pretty 39 and Market paper to uh, cover this. And then another little button card on the side here. These are 49 and Market stamps that I covered these little button backings with. So, And then this is an old earring with some charms on it, I think. I don't know where I got that, but I just thought the colors were pretty. So there's that one. And then I have one more. I have the big one. And this is the frame pocket journal. And then here is the die or the sample. Hmm. I, you know, I haven't looked at it since I got it back, but it's fun. So I did a little journaling card here. This is one of the pieces that come on the die and then I used their pretty paper and did some little uh, fold outs and overdue story of my life um, this pocket got loose and I just re-glued it hope I did that right and there's another little pocket and got some of my stamps on there so you know if you like doing junk journals this is a nice size I really do like the size of this so anyway, oops, there it is. That's the, oh no, what is the name of this one? Frame Pocket Journal. Have it in the Etsy. Yes, it is 49 market paper. Yeah, you get the sensation. You like to see this. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, how do you do the circles on the side? Lenine, um, are you talking about this one? These are the little buttons that came in with the die. And so you just stitch them to the inside here. You know, I just stitch those on. And I put a real button. I don't know if you can see. I put a real button underneath because when you wrap this together, if you don't do that, they're really tight and you can't get the floss or whatever it is that you're using under. So when you use the buttons, it just goes nice and easy. 
if you can string this thing. Okay, so anyway. Um, yeah, so that's that. No, open the book and the circles after you open the book. This one? Circles after you open. This here? That's the envelope. Yeah, that's the oval that comes in this. That's one of the um, pieces that it cuts out. So I just cut a thing in half, you know, piece of paper in half. Sorry, I was not understanding. Yeah, actually that one I cut out and I put it here. So kind of, oh, and here, yeah. So those are little tuck spots. So I just glued them right at the edge here and then you can tuck them in, but they don't fall out. They're pretty good. Okay, sorry about that. I did not understand. Okay. All right, so these are done. And there's also some other pretty designs that they sent along. So I just thought I would share them with you guys. These are the shadow boxes. And I love that one. Isn't that cute? I never thought of doing that. But that little piece in there comes with it with the die. Uh, this is the shadow box elements. And the, all those little houses come in there, and then they put it on the background of the shadow box. And then that's a cute little wreath. That was the uh, shadow box number one. Okay. Thank you for explaining. Oh, everybody was wondering. Shoot, sorry about that. Okay, now here's a couple book covers. And I think Alexis did these because I was looking on the back and that's her. So that's who I was just talking to today. She does such a beautiful job. Very um, classy, I would say. And she just came out with her own um, flower dies too. So check them out because they're really pretty. So this is the uh, Skinny Mini book box, and that's Skinny Mini Elements that fits right on there. And then these are some other flowers, so you could use any flowers that you have. Uh, this is a cool one, too, and it looks like she made this one, too. So this is a December Daily, and this is really pretty. It's embossed because I can feel it, and then she inked and also added in, like, that little pine cone is... Uh, a, a die cut and it's put on top and the little pom-pom Tanya you should like that and then there's just a nice little book inside it's cute isn't it all right what else oh here's some more shoot I don't have my packaging but this is on there and these this is the geometric box and this one the lid comes off or you can hinge it that one I used the lid to come off. This one is just open. You can put your plants in here. You know, you can put some roses in there. <laughs> Whatever you have. You can put your pencils, pens, all kinds of stuff. All right. Now, here's a blast from the past. This is the wrap journal made out of leather going in the theme that we just had for the last couple weeks. That's really pretty. Also has an embossed panel on there. It's cool. It feels very substantial. Yes. And one more. And this one I was going to fix, but I didn't have time. So that says CADs, but it should be cards. <laughs> I can't find the R. So that was kind of disappointing. But this is the uh, card caddy. And then also she did some really pretty and not that hard cards you know um this just has the woven leather and then she wrapped it with some string here and a pretty label well a couple layers oh that's a pretty one too look at that with the glitter isn't that cool oh yes that's really pretty so simple see i i would have to it wouldn't occur to me I just go crazy. Either I do nothing or I do too much. But this is the trinket box. No, no. This is the uh, skinny mini book box. So the others were ones making books. And here's one that makes box. And I also have these in my Etsy store. So there you go. That's that. And that's what I got from Sizzix UK. So thank you for sending that to me, guys. I'm glad they could 
should find them and get them back here. So that's great. All right, now. Um, let me move this stuff. All right, so what I did, well, first let's just recap. We've been working with leather. Here are some of the ones that we made this week. This is all cut with the Card Caddy die. This was leather embossed with a thinlet. This one, the alphabet die, alphanumeric, tiled alphanumeric. And we just put it on there, rolled it through, and it embossed, but it didn't cut through. But you can kind of see the letters, which I kind of like. Then the next one we did, oh, then we embossed with embossing folders. I have to put these together. I almost did that before we got started, but I didn't get to it. Uh, then we did these, which are embossed leather with napkin decoupage. Well, first we cut it, then we put on the napkin decoupage, then we embossed it, and then we added luster wax on here. Yes, that was a pretty fun. A box of CADs could be interesting, too. <laughs> yeah, this is the one we did just last on Tuesday. And that, I went a little nuts on the luster wax, but I like it. I really like it. And this is a skinny little one. And this is the one that I was thinking to do our little card book in here today. So, and then here's another one that we did from the, well, we, we didn't know what it was. Faux leather. <laughs> it turns out it's a desk mat. So that one turned out really cool. We embossed this. And actually, it still feels pretty embossed. I mean, it might have relaxed a little, but it's still pretty, I think. And this is a nice thick one. So, yeah. So we've been through leather, faux leather, and now we need to figure out. Now, here's one. This is just paper. And this is one that we started a while ago. I have added a couple more things because I just got tired of looking at this thing sitting there. So I did some little tags and some things for inside, a book. Um, this is still not glued down, but that's a little book. I think I showed you how to do that. I can't remember. If I didn't, let me know and we'll do it. But that's one just made out of mat board. But these are those little pages that I have and I hope to get to you. But I just wanted to show you what they look like. Now this is printed on this darker color. And I like it, but I didn't mind it on the white. I thought that looked pretty nice too. Um, what size is the book box when completed? Brenda, is that the skinny mini book box that I was showing? I think it's three and three quarters by six and three quarters by an inch, something like that. You learn the hard way to put the luster wax on after everything is glued so together. Yes. Sorry about that. Yes, that would be a good hint. Yeah, so I'll just go through. It's basically four pages. And honestly, you could just print this same one four times. Nobody's going to know, but I thought, oh, I'll make it a little different. And they're, they're kind of interesting words. So I have four pages of this. And then I have one page of like ephemera which I showed you the other day. That's a piece of quilt. And this is, um, this was my aunt, Catherine Ward Lyon. Was, no, she wasn't my great aunt. She was my great grandmother, my mom's mother's mother. So this was uh, 1920, her trip to Boston. And she has this really cool little book and I have it, I'll show it to you. So I like to use things that are kind of unique to my family. And um, so I feel like I'm kind of sharing my history a little. And this is a coffee dyed paper. So yeah, I mean, what, what they're going to look like will depend on the color paper that you print out. Yeah, I don't mind it on the white. So what I was going to do is just show you how you can do this. And there's a couple ways. I was going to redo the whole thing. Uh, because I kind of decided I didn't know if I wanted to go like this. The original way was, well, let's just do one and I'll show you. I'm just going to chop this, you know, not real carefully. Oops, that was probably 
not good because I, I kind of like the little edges, but oh well. it's just to show you how to do it, how I did it. And you can decide if you want to do it that way or not. So I might have like cut, chopped off one little thing here, but still. Okay, so my thought was, one, if you looked at it, you would read it going this way. And if you folded this down, you know, that would make a front and back page, which I do like that idea. However, and I left a little room up here for the fold, you know, for you to fold it over. And then the thought is you fold it in half and you've got these little books. All right. I think I chopped something wrong, but... Let me just, uh, oh, that was the underneath showing. Let me just trim that just for the sake of this. Okay. So the other thing that I thought would be cool, because I was trying to figure out how to bind this and fit it inside. You could stitch it, Debbie. That would be a good idea. Um, sorry, I missed what you were saying. Yes, these are digital papers that I'm selling. They're not up yet because I <laughs> I need to do a little more work on them. But I had another thought on this, which I think I like a little better. So let me get my smaller pen right here. So what I'm going to do is cut this instead because this is a cool way to put it together where you don't have to do a binding. Um, so I just thought, let's let's do that. All right, so we do need another one. Get my other trimmer. Yes, I need a million gadgets here on my table. Yes, I think stitching would be really cool, Debbie. That was better. Once I cut one, then I have the edges to kind of line up. Man, I chopped it off again. I have even cut these by hand, if you can believe that. <laughs> they're not real even because they're real books and they're kind of a little off. You know, they get torn. Now I'm going to cut this in the middle here. Okay? Because I want to show you how to attach these pages. All right, let's just do one. All right. I kind of like this because you can make this as thick as you want. All right. So here we have the first page that we did and, you know, just arrange it in whatever order that you want, you know, but you're just going to basically fold these in half and they should come out to fairly close. This one, look at that cool, like stitched kind of, um, what do you call that stuff? Like a book cloth in there. So these pages were coming apart. So it was kind of hard. It, this is a, a, like an 1800s book. So uh, yeah, that cutter is amazing. I love it. All right. But you're going to see on this side, we have plain paper. So what I was thinking was we would back this and make little pockets Wait a minute. No, I was right the first time. You know, we could make it thicker. Now, this is a pretty heavy paper. But what I want to do is I'm going to take my... Shoot, where's my paper towel? I think this is going to take a lot of glue, so I'm going to make my little paper towel uh, glue thing so I can stick this back in here. And not have to do my all right sorry I'm gonna take some some of my water spritzer here just give that a good and that's gonna keep my glue wet my the tip of my glue wet so I don't have to keep taking my pin in and out which drives me crazy so all I'm gonna do now I could do this two ways if I want pockets if I want a pocket up here then I would glue here and here, and probably here. If I want a pocket here, then I would glue this, this, and that, okay? So the first one, let's do the side. So I'm just going to lay a little glue. 
And I like to do this a lot. I like this technique a lot because it gives a lot of options and it gives pockets, which who doesn't like pockets? Now this, I did go ahead and I inked my edges on here and I do think it looks really nice. It looks old. I mean, they're kind of on there anyway. In fact, I, th I thought about actually inking the pages and then they you wouldn't have to do it. But I didn't want to do that. It's Susie's book, so I kind of didn't want to do that. But I think that it does look nice. Now, sometimes they don't always line up. I did a bad job, but you could just always ink that too. All right. Um, and here's the reason why I decided not to do the fold over thing. Because when I glued, I had some gaps like this. And I just didn't like how that looked. So is it copy paper or I think that's supposed to be cardstock to print out. Um, you can do it however you want. It depends on how thick you want your pages. Yeah. So, but you can have this cute little folder. And if you wanted, you could ink your inside of your pages before you started going. But it lays nice and flat. And I just like how this is coming out. So I might go ahead and just trim these off because the paper is the same color on the back. Oh, actually, no, it isn't. Oh, well, hopefully this is going to match up. I don't like having that much on there. But it's just kind of inevitable because these are old pages and, you know, they just don't all match up right. So ink is fine. Okay. And then you're just going to do your next one. So let's this one have it be, wait a minute, let's make sure they're, okay, uh, let's do one that goes up here. So if you wanted to do like a thumb notch, you could do that. Uh, and then in that case, I would ink back, everything's falling out, wait a minute, let me get a piece of inker paper. Because if I'm going to do a notch here, I don't want that to look, you know, weird. This is kind of big, but I'll just do this for the heck of it. Just a little one. Because when something's sticking out, it's nice. Yeah, see, you can't even tell. All right, so let's do this kind of pocket. I think this is really fun. And like I said, you can make it to fit whatever book. So if you do, like we did that one, uh, the skinny one that I was saying with the napkin. All right, now this is the trick. You have to keep the spines even. And that will be even a little trickier because if you have any difference in the size, you know. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, okay. So there's our one pocket, here's our other pocket. And if you wanted, and you didn't want to have any pockets, you would just glue them right to each other, you know? You don't have to do them. And I think the other thing that I did do was I took my little corner. This is a real tiny, I love this thing. If you guys don't have one of these, I recommend, I found it in a thrift store. And this is like a four, millimeter so it's a very tiny one it's smaller than the the one from uh on the cor corner chomper so you know you can do it after but the ones in the book are actually i couldn't find it last time i don't know what i did with it this time <laughs> and make sure you get them going the right way um but you could just glue these right to each other you don't have to even make a pocket, but I just figure the more space, the better. And if you want to fill up your book, you know, that'll make it a little bulkier. But let's just do one where we cover it. Let's make sure you get the edges because that's where, where they will try to come apart. 
and this might be a good way to I should have checked to make sure that it was going the right direction. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, is it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right. So that is how. And I mean, that's not hard. So when you get to the end of it, all you're going to do is flip. Let's just do a couple more. I know we have time, right? Uh, let's do a little chopping. So what do you guys think? Oh, what's the fun in having them all facing the right way? <laughs> well, you know what? You can hardly even read them anyway. So, oh, and let's put some of this little ephemera in here because we can make little tags. Sometimes I think it might even be easier to just cut them with scissors. I tried to line them up as well as I could, but you never know. In the old days, you know, they were lucky to have a book. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I'm going to try and get this up in the shop tonight because it's driving me crazy. I just want to get it done. It's on my nerves. I mean, I want to figure it out. It's annoying. All right. So, let's see. I think I will... Might as well trim off that little strip, too. I do like this paper. So what do you guys think? Which class is you doing? Oh, you're back. You just signed up. And you're going to May May's? Good, Lisa. I'll get to see you there. How fun. Oh, I can't wait. Are you signing up for classes? right away if something isn't right i can't rest until i figure it out yeah it drives me nuts i mean there, it's got to be a way i've done it before that's the thing i've put stuff in the etsy store that are pdfs and i don't understand why they're not working so oh well i'll figure it out uh you moved here in texas from alabama Art glitter glue. Yes, that's what I used. Art glitter glue. And I'm doing these separately because I just want to make sure some of the, you know, edges are. But they all should go to the middle. You, you'll see. See, now look at that one. That's just how it was on the page. It's rounded, but it's also kind of torn. And this one, I don't know how that one. But it makes them all individual. And probably we should ink some of them just to keep them consistent. So really all you have to do is cut them out and fold them in half. So I left them the other way in case you want to. It doesn't matter because you're going to cut them out anyway. Uh, if they're upside down, it shouldn't matter. And you, then you still have the option of folding it over if you want. And if you have some weak paper, you probably do want to kind of back it with something because, you know, text paper is not that sturdy. All right. I think I will go back to the pocket. And I think I'll put that little notch right here. So I will ink here and... Just keep that so it blends in. And that one go. So what do you guys think? You're gonna try this? You have one of those sewing machines. Paper crafting, no sewing. <laughs> All right. Just making sure going the right way. Okay. 
We can have a cute little book at the end of this. And I think we can put it in our little napkin, skinny little napkin book. I think it will be really cute, like kind of vintagey, but not too much. <laughs> Is there too much vintage ever? I do like vintage. Sometimes I like clean and simple too, though. It's just, and that's the beauty of it. Whatever it is you want, whatever day it is, you can have it. Just change your papers and you're good. All right, now this one might take a little bit of finagling. We need some more glue. The more that you get, the more you have to kind of work with it. But like I said, you can always add the inking and won't even notice. We'll do that after because it's going to be so you can lay it flat. Yeah, that's fine. Just make sure you get these down. You can always go back in and do it better. And then we do another pocket. I do it this way so I can see how much I'm taking. And when I'm doing this, I just kind of estimate there's that much there and that much there. Eh, that looks like about the middle. Not too bad. All right, now we're going up and down. I just have to remember. And it doesn't matter if you alternate and you put them in the wrong place or go two in a row the same. Who cares? Don't even worry. This is fun. You're not trying to impress anybody. <laughs> okay. Maybe you are. Okay. So who's going back to craft roulette on Friday? I think I am. Yeah, that's cute. We have a couple more pages. Might as well finish up. This one, uh, you could tuck stuff in here too. Let's do that too while oh, no, we're at it. And then we will need a cover. So you know what I might do? is leave this last one and just cut it in half and put that on for cover. I'm getting fed up of cold. Oh, it's still cold in the UK? It was 88 today, but it didn't feel that hot. It said it was, but I didn't believe it. I didn't really go out, though. I went out to cut my roses. That was it. So these are not perfect, but nobody's perfect. Come on. <laughs> okay, so this, I think I am just going to cut that down the middle, and we'll have that be the cover. Hopefully it's big enough. All right. So that can be the back cover. Cute. And if you wanted to add, you still could do that and just cover it up. I'm going to, because it's a cover, I'm going to make this pretty strong. So I'll just double the paper. I think that is cute. Look at that. It's like an old book. All right. Whoops. It's my watercolor reject paper towel. They dry out and then I use them again because <laughs> I'm too lazy to go upstairs and get new paper towels. But they work and they're kind of pretty too. All right, just make sure you're going the right way. And you have your book cover. Yeah, look at that. You know what would be fun, too? To get the cover of this book and put that on mat board and make, a, like, a hard cover for it. Wouldn't that be cute? Or even a soft cover. 
Yeah. All right. Now let's uh, let's work on this a little bit more because it's not all matching up. I do want to go ahead and fill my corners. So I did it with one of them, so I might as well. I probably could do a couple at a time. Sometimes this just doesn't click in. All right. Let's see if uh, I don't think they're going to match up to do. They're quick. I think this is so fun. Oh, it's two. I wonder if we could do these two together. A worn leather cover. Oh, yes. Yes, you could. Well, you know, we have... I have old leather. Actually, I have some leather that Debbie Music sent me a while ago, and I haven't known what to do. It was samples from something, and I think we did this one, but we didn't do the back. And I have it, and it's floppy. It's really pretty. They're different colors. Wait a minute. Too many. Can't do too many layers, apparently. Plus, they're wet from the glue, so. All right, let's see. Uh, we glue two together? No. Oh. All right, this actually has a lot of pages in here. But I think this would be cute when you get it filled up with little vintage things. All right, let's just go around and distress this a little bit. See, I don't know why. Sometimes it doesn't do it. All right, I don't know if I have enough ink on here to... But let's do the cover at least. Just a little bit. Just to look old. But yeah, that leather would be really pretty. All right, this we need to do because that's... I could either chop it off or... I uh, might have to chop that off. I don't know if that's going to. I have to do this again. Ay, ay, ay. This is being weird. See, that one went good. Oh, kind of chews it up. Maybe don't get one of these. I didn't like it, but all right. And the other good thing is, like I said, they lay flat, so you can just take each one and do its own little whatever it needs. And then let's just put a couple little things in here. If I don't see the color sticking up, I'm not going to ink it just for sake of time. Okay. That needs it. And you can trim it if you want. It's not that big a deal. Okay. All right. We have our little book. All right. Now this, now the other thing, you know, you could do a little book cloth along here. The thing is, if you're going to have this in a book, you're going to open up to the middle. Well, let's do it. Uh, here's my, oh, I didn't put, I didn't put the elastic in here yet. But that is a cute size. Isn't it? Look at that. It's perfect. It's actually, you know what, though? I don't mind if it has, like, it would be fun to have little tabs sticking out. It's vintage. Give it a break, you know. <laughs> At that age, it's from the 1800s. Nothing has to be perfect about it. But let's just put some of these little things in here. I didn't really cut them out. That one's probably too big. But that would be, you could even do that on the back cover. This might fit. No, this one will. This is Uncle Rocky's um, report card. <laughs> So, see, you could put little things in here with tabs on them. Oh, we got promoted to third grade. 
that's good. But it would be cute to have little tabs, I think, sticking out here and here, you know, and just little ribbons and, and stuff like that. But um, just so you can see how I would put this together is go to the middle of this little book and find, you know, wherever you are, your center, and then take it and just string it inside your elastic. And there you go. So you could do two in here. I think if after you get stuff in there, that's going to be pretty thick, I think. So there, and this I just love. You can scale these down too, actually. When you get them, you could scale that down and make it fit in here. Or you could scale it up if I do it right, <laughs> which I better. So that is what I wanted to show you today. So see, I could have done this, but it's doubled. So these are extra heavy duty. If you want heavy duty ones, then do that. You still could make pockets, though, when you fold it down. You know, when you fold it over, you could just put your glue here and here, and then you would have pockets in the side, you know, or vice versa. Well, no, you would have the fold up here, but you could you could cut it in half and do a fold up here or a pocket. Anyway, there's options however you want to do it, and I hope that some of you give this a try and let us see how it goes. Your grandson graduated from preschool. Oh my god, how cute. If you turn over the corner rounder as you use it, yeah. Except this one, you can't really, I don't know. Let's see, because I didn't love every one that I did here. Let me see if I can see it. I think I tried that, but I can't remember. I was probably in a rush. Uh, is there one that didn't do right? Yeah, this back one. Let's see. Yeah, here's one. See, I can't, I guess it's in there. Well, it rounded it. Yeah, good idea. Thank you. Who was that? Thank you. I had already passed. Well, thank you very much. Hey, Jimmy Krieger. Good to see you. Hi, Fern. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it could have a better cover, but I think it would be, you know, not hard to just wrap a very thin leather around it. I'm going to try that with that brown leather from Debbie and let you, I'll post it in the group and I'll, <laughs> I'll do it when I get my finished PDF up there in Etsy and you can see how to do it. Oh, good. Thanks, Dorothy. I'm glad you like it. Debbie Gibson, not the singer. Oh, well, you're welcome, Brenda. Let's see what else is going on here. Oh, you like it, Linda? If you turn the corner. Oh, there it is. Tootsie Bells. Okay, Tootsie Bell. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I don't have any Fitbit. The new gadgets. <laughs> I wondered what you guys were talking about when I was slaving trying to show you how to do this. Since I had to retire this past year after working on your feet all day, oh, that's good. Yeah, it's good to retire. Oh, walk 250. Oh, it's good. I don't have one because it would say, get off your rear end. Hey, Mitsuyana. Yes, it it is true, Marion. You haven't gone anywhere. Hey, Sharon Betts. Oh, good to see you. I'm glad it warmed up. A worn leather cover, yes. Take out some aggression on the leather. <laughs> I could. This military. Dan says is he's going to go. It's in the middle of nowhere. Oh, wow. I get to meet Dan, I hope. Oh, who else is going to go to May Mays? Hey, Helen. How are you? Hi, Craft Roulette. You're going to go? <laughs> Good to see you, Mary Gunn. I'm going to go check out, check out tomorrow night and see if I can do it. Your mom is a quilter. I can't sew straight line. Well, you don't need to sew. Let your mom do it. 
<laughs> my mom was a, oh, she was an amazing seamstress. And my sister, Kathy, is too. And I, I stitched the paper, you know, that's all right. All right, I'm going to go back to the comments. Are the pages a PDF print? Yes, Jimmy, I'm going to list it. I tried to before the live, and I have to figure it out. Yes, it will be a blast. Well, you know, it's not till September. Things change, or October, I mean. So, you know, who knows? It might work out. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go. I have a lot of work to do. I got to get ready for this trip to Sizzix. So it's exciting. And uh, Margaret, you're going? Cool. Okay. Margaret will go anywhere. She is She is intrepid. She will go wherever she wants. <laughs> Leslie will be there. Good. All right. It's in your backyard, Leslie. Okay. All right, guys. We'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. All right. Take it easy. When am I going to Sizzix? The 13th to the 17th. Yeah. Smooth Sizzix for us at, for our books. <laughs> I will. All right. All right, Glum. You earned it. <laughs> give Taylor your love. All right. I'm going to take notes before I leave and give everybody regards. <laughs> take orders. All right. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot for coming. We'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. Have a great weekend. All right. Bye.